Yvette Falarka, I teach at King Middle School and I'm speaking on behalf of the Jan Bam Caucus. Berkeley teachers and support staff are incredibly dedicated to the education of our students. Our contract is expiring in a few weeks, increasing salaries for early childhood education teachers, bilingual stipends and increased special education support must be priorities in contract negotiations. It's a question of equity. We've put our hearts and souls into providing the best education for our students, especially this past year. These priorities are essential for our student success. On a separate note, outbreaks at Berkeley High and at our elementary schools show why mandatory COVID-19 testing and vaccinations for students must be prerequisites for reopening schools. Berkeley is an international community and we do not live in a bubble. Five million people have been diagnosed with COVID in the past 14 days alone in just India, one nation. There are countless more. Student vaccinations and testing should be mandatory. Otherwise, we're playing Russian roulette with our students' lives. We always your time to for tonight. As possible. Thank you. Um, thank you for that. And um, I appreciate the sort of clarity of that what we mean by the plan for the fall is to just show up at school when school starts and, and it'll be like it was before for the vast majority of our students. And um, if we need to um, clarify that in any other communications, you know, to, to parents before school gets out in June so that there's, you know, no, no question or concern about that, I think that would be a good thing to do. But um, but I appreciate that. I just wanted to make one comment for the record about masks. And, and I don't think you mentioned it, but when you said that there um, there might be some um, mitigation measures that would that we would put in place that won't affect the scheduling. Um, I want to. I I know it's premature, but I, but I want to. Um, I want us to be careful about just assuming that requiring masks and face coverings is kind of just a no cost um, safety measure that that we can just impose on on all our kids um, coming back in the fall. If it's not necessary then then i then we shouldn't do it and i think that we need to recognize that for um kids i mean for all of us but i think particularly for kids who are just learning how to navigate social situations and trying to hear each other um wearing face coverings is not um, does not come without cost and so if that's what public health guidelines and guidance requires us to do then then obviously we should do it but um there's a real, um, I think it's a real detriment to our kids to have to wear masks in school. And um, if they don't have to, we shouldn't make them. So I know it's, again, it's premature, but I wanted to flag that as an issue that I'm concerned about um, as we head into the fall.